Уан. Телеканал культурного опору. Привет всем на телеканале A1. Время интервью по скайпу. Сегодня мы пообщаемся с Алексом Уанненбургом, барабанщиком группы Рапсоди. Алекс, uh, hello. Tell us about the last tour Rhapsody. The last days of Rhapsody, we, well, the last, the recent days we had. I actually, I just got home from um, a small tour we did. We played two shows in Europe, one in um, in Praten, in Switzerland, one in Nuremberg, Germany, and then we flew over to Atlanta, USA, and we played the Brock Power Festival, which was incredible. Um, Fantastic experience, fantastic festival, very nice people. And from there, we flew over to Mexico. And that also was an, an incredible show. I mean, everybody knows that the people in, in South and Latin America, that that's a fantastic audience, but the Mexican audience was like, they were even more crazy than anything I've seen before. So that was really, really fantastic. I wish we could have played more shows, but... Um, Actually, we, we had to go home also because we will do a new record soon. So that was one of the reasons. Uh, when you will start playing in Rhapsody and who invited you in this band? I started with Rhapsody in, um, let me think about it, in April or March last year. So March 2012. And um, the producer or like um, I should say, I mean, Lucas producing the record, but um, he's producing them with a man called Sebastian Röder. He also does our live sound. He's a front of house mixer and he's tour manager for Rhapsody as well. And when it was obvious that Alex Holzwart couldn't do both Rhapsody bands, that's when um, Luca knew he had to get another drummer and he asked Sebastian, we call him Bazi, he asked him if he knows any drummer and Bazi and I, we knew each other from before, we're friends for many years now. And so Bazi suggested me to Luca, which I didn't know. And um, at that time I was still waiting actually to see if I, if I would join Stradivarius maybe, because they were also looking for a drummer and you might know that I've played with them before. So I didn't... I wasn't thinking of anything else, and then I had this email from Luca Turilli, and um, I answered him. He called me on the phone. We talked for about an hour or so, and I, I quickly made up my mind. When he asked me to join, I said, okay, that's it. I'm going to join Rhapsody, which was a good decision, fantastic decision. And uh, we know that you uh, was playing in Stratovarius. Uh, when you stop uh, playing in this uh, band and why? was only playing in Stradivarius for one tour. Um, and the reason why I was playing with them was actually at that, at that time was a bit, or it was actually really sad, not just a bit sad, because um, Jörg, Jörg Michael, that drummer at that time, was diagnosed with uh, cancer right before they went on tour with Halloween. And so he couldn't do the tour, he had to undergo treatment. And, um, but he made sure he absolutely wanted the band to play the tour. So they needed a drummer. And again, it was through um, a mutual friend that recommended me to them. And so I got in touch with, with Stradivarius. But they also were looking at two other drummers. They told me right away. So I did a video audition for them, basically on the same day, because I really wanted to play the tour. So I went to my practice room, recorded a video for them, and that was that. So I toured with them, and then luckily, Jörg um, recovered, and he was able to play with them again. So that's of, of course that's why I, I left again, and he took over again. Which, but made it made me me and everybody else really happy at that time, because it was wonderful to see Jörg back. Uh, now you communicate with uh, guys from Stratovarius. Yes, we 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 kept in touch. Um, from time to time, I, I'm still, especially with uh, Jens Johansson, I'm still like um, having a good contact, but actually with all of them. And when they were touring with uh, Amarante, or Amarant, how you were going to call them, in um, this spring in Germany, I actually visit them two or three times when, when they were playing near 
to my place or when it just happened that I had time. So I went over to say hello to them and uh, it's, a, it's a very friendly contact that we have still. Also with their new drummer, with Rolf. So really, really nice guy and a good, very good drummer, fantastic drummer. Young drummer, the guy. And um, so we get along well. It's um, no hard feelings. It's like, it's a good friendship that we have. Uh, and we know uh, that you have own band. It's uh, 21 Octane. How um, you combine uh, to work in two groups, Rhapsody and 21 Octane? And actually, I'm, I'm also playing for a band called Mekong Delta, and, and I'm doing also some other things. So that's, that's a good question, of course. It's uh, difficult to, you know, to have free time to do everything. But fortunately, at, at this level, when you play with a band like Rhapsody, things are planned many months before already. It's not like they say, uh, do you have time next week? We have a show. But things are like planned maybe half a year before or even more. So it gives you the chance to, to coordinate things. It's not always easy because also what you have to consider, for example, with 21 Octane, also the other guys in 21 Octane are also still playing for, for other bands at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to coordinate, but you can do it. It's just you have to, to try, but it's not easy, of course, yes. And uh, what kind of promotion do you prefer uh, for a uh, new album, your band, and for, for example, Rhapsody? It's TV station, it's social web pages, uh, radio. What kind of promotion? I think uh, in today's times you have to be happy about any sort of promotion. Everything is important. And um, I mean, TV, classic TV, still is probably the one thing with, this, with the biggest impact. I think people underestimate sometimes how important still TV is. You know, so TV, of course, it's wonderful. We love to have that. But uh, the social media, like internet, print magazines, everything is really important. And of course, internet, you know, has been, it's becoming more and more important. I mean, over the last 10 years, you can tell it. But um, definitely, of course, TV is a wonderful thing. Also radio, if you have radio. And um, in many markets, TV is just is almost not an option because just there is not enough market for our kind of music. So anywhere we can be on TV, that's a wonderful thing, of course. We love that. For musicians, what is more important? It, uh, it's a uh, photo shoot and make for new, uh, album uh, presented or oh, video record it's uh, video clips and I think today the the video aspect the visual aspect is um, extremely important I think it's always been important to be honest ever since people started making music videos I think it became more and more important and now with the YouTube being one of the most important promotional tools for any musician, I think videos are extremely important. So that's why, for example, with Rhapsody, we tried really hard to have really good videos, and we will do the same thing with 21 Octane. We will invest a lot of uh, time, effort, and money into having really good videos, because I think it's really, really important. Hmm. Okay, uh, Alex, and a message for Ukrainian fans. What do you want to say? Oh, well, it's like, um, first of all, I hope I get to play uh, in, in Ukraine like um, really soon. And I really hope to do it with both bands, with Rhapsody and with the 21 Octane, also with Mekong Delta. And um, I think it's, it's wonderful fans. I actually do get a lot of messages from there. And I can, just can't wait to get there. And um, well, thank you. Thank you, Ukraine. Thank you, Ukrainian fans. For, for the support I received with everything I've been doing over the years from there. There's been a lot of interest and I, I really, really appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alex, for uh, your answer uh, on our questions. Thank you for, for the interview and I'm happy it worked out. Собственно, мы ждем Алекса с его двумя группами у нас в гостях в Украине. Ну, а с вами пока-пока. Hey,
Телеканал культурного опору.